Twelve of the 13 Israeli hostages released from Gaza today were kidnapped from one kibbutz, Niroz. One out of four of Niroz's residents were kidnapped or killed. 79-year-old Chaim Perry was kidnapped from there. He remains a hostage. His daughter, Noam Perry, joins us now. Thank you very much, Noam. Welcome to the NewsHour again. How are you feeling today, your father uh, remaining in captivity, but uh, so many of these people from Niroz freeze? It's, it's, it's a day of mixed feelings, of course. Uh, I'm thrilled with every one I see back. I know most of those people, and we've been waiting to see them. Uh, I'm sure that their families are, uh, are waiting to hug them just in those very moments that, uh, that we talk. Uh, but obviously, we still, we still wait and worry very much about my father who's currently not uh, included in this deal, and many others as well. Have you been able to talk with any of the families whose family members have been released today? Not yet. We've, we've been texting together the families this whole very tense day and uh, wishing them the best and wishing them to see their uh, family members. So, you know, we're waiting now for hours we can only imagine what, what you're all going through. Uh, about a month ago, we had you on the show. You were talking to my colleague, Abna Nawaz, uh, and you said that you had received a, a sign of life of your father from uh, a hostage who had just been released, uh, Yochaved Lifshitz. Uh, have you received any new updates about your father's condition since then? So, no. Since then, uh, we had no signal and no, no sign of life. And it has been very, very long, seven weeks now since my father was kidnapped from his home. And it's very hard to think, to think about him. Uh, um, how he survives this, this seven weeks, 50 days, I don't know, every hour, it's very hard to think about it. Do you have faith? Do you have uh, a sense, uh, perhaps, that, uh, that he's okay in there? Definitely, I have, I have faith. I know he, he I, I, I hope and I know he, he's a strong man mentally. He's a brave man. But he's also uh, not young anymore. <laughs> he's almost 80. He's going to celebrate his 80th birthday on April. Uh, he suffers from a heart disease and has undergone uh, two surgeries. He's dependent on medications. Two days ago, uh, some reporters have been taken down the tunnel underground under the Shifa hospital in, in Gaza. And these reporters were, I think, probably most of them men of 30 or 40 years old. And they have reported that after an hour, one hour in, in those tunnels, they had, it was hard to breathe. And the conditions were terrible. I, I'm thinking how, how is, uh, uh, an 80 year old man uh, can survive there for, for seven weeks. Over the next uh, three to four days, uh, about 50 women and children are scheduled to be released. Uh, there's a formula after that for one day of pause, another 10 women and children to, believe, to, to be released. Do you have faith that after that, this ceasefire will hold and your father will indeed be on the list? I'm crossing my fingers <laughs> uh, every hour now uh, that the ceasefire would hold and we will see every day uh, people coming out of there, people that shouldn't have been there from the beginning and definitely should not be there for for even one more day. And yes, I hope, I hope this will hold on and I hope we'll see all children, women come out and then obviously that I'm hoping that we will see my father and the other elderly like him um, going out of there and we will not rest for a moment until this, this happens. Some Israeli officials oppose this pause because Hamas, of course, will use it to 
uh, regroup, re-strengthen perhaps. What do you say to that argument? I say, uh, I think this is one of our strengths as a society that uh, we, we put lives in the first, the first place. There is no other priority than to save life. And some, I think that our enemies think it's, it's, it's a weakness, but it's not. It's a strength. It's a strength of the Israeli society. And I think that the voices that talk against it are a minority. Noam Perry joining us from Israel tonight. Thank you very much. Thank you.